Hi meine Lieben, herzlich willkommen, hier ist Mike Loves Live, mein Name ist Matze und ich weiß nicht, wie es euch geht, aber ich finde diese ganze Situation mehr und mehr verwirrend, weil irgendwie am Anfang war alles unnormal, aber jetzt ist alles so ein bisschen normaler geworden und inzwischen fühlt es sich mit dem guten Wetter fast ein bisschen an wie Urlaub, aber es ist natürlich kein richtiger Urlaub, weil man darf eigentlich nicht rausgehen, es sei denn, man möchte sehr gerne rausgehen, dann darf man schon rausgehen oder spazieren wenn man möchte. Man darf aber keine Menschen treffen, zumindest nicht, wenn man nicht mit ihnen zusammen wohnt. Es sei denn, man ist in einer Partnerschaft mit ihnen zusammen. Aber wenn man in einer WG wohnt und nur der eine hat eine Partnerin und der andere nicht, darf die Partnerin dann in die WG kommen? Ich, ich weiß es zum Beispiel nicht. Man darf einkaufen gehen, aber nur, wenn man es dringend braucht. Aber braucht man dringend Blumen? Weil die Blumenläden haben ja wieder auf. Und äh, da soll man ja auch einkaufen gehen, weil die sollen ja auch Geld verdienen. Ich verstehe es einfach nicht. Und da bin ich dann manchmal froh, dass wir einfach nur eine kleine schöne Sportsendung hier haben. Weil Sport machen darf man. Aber Vorsicht mit Abstand. Deswegen halten wir Abstand. Herzlich willkommen, Jonathan. Dankeschön. Jonathan ist von, äh, aus Venezuela, deswegen reden wir jetzt Englisch. Und ich übersetze zwischendurch. So, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. I'm looking forward to teach you a nice flow today. That's good. I've already told about my being confused about the situation. How do you feel? I also feel confused, let's say, because it's like an in-between. We don't know what we're allowed to do if we are being judged when we decided to do things that we normally do. But nonetheless, I feel this is an opportunity to kind of like look inside of us and maybe also do things that we are missing, that we have neglected not doing at home before, for yeah. example. And yoga is pretty much a good way for that, actually, right? Exactly. It's a journey in, so that's actually one of the best tools we can use, especially at home. So you are from Bali Yoga. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have already online classes? Yes, we have online classes and our schedule is online on our website. Mm -hmm. And we have classes from Vinyasa to Kundalini to some Hatha Yoga classes and as well Jin Yoga. Okay, so mm -hmm. I'll translate that shortly. Yeah. Uh, also Jonathan sagt wie ich, ist auch ein bisschen konfus, aber mm -hmm. äh, man kann das Ganze ja auch nutzen, um so ein bisschen in sich reinzuschauen, die ganze Situation. Und dafür geht Yoga natürlich ganz gut. Und äh, gute Nachricht, Bali Yoga hat schon Online-Klassen, für die arbeitet nämlich der Jonathan. Und äh, wenn ihr möchtet, könnt ihr die finden auf der MyClubs App oder aber auf der MyClubs Webpage myclubs.com. Da gibt es natürlich auch ganz, ganz viele Kurse unserer anderen Partner. Also wenn ihr möchtet, Los geht's, viel Spaß. Und los geht's ist ein gutes Stichwort. I think we can actually start yeah. just a few questions. So do we need something? Do we need music or anything? No, if we have a nice place, this at home, it's always nice to have some background music. I will normally like to always have a blog or a book at home, for example, that could work as a prop. We might need it in some of the postures, but generally, actually, we just need the mat. We need some space to actually stretch our body yeah. and just comfortable clothing. Okay, cool. Yeah. Also eigentlich braucht ihr nichts außer einer Matte, einen Block vielleicht oder ein dickes Buch, äh, um ein paar Positionen zu unterstützen. Wenn ihr möchtet, könnt ihr euch entspannte Musik anmachen, es gibt aber keine Vorgabe. Also bereitet euch jetzt langsam vor, denn ich werde jetzt hier die Matte verlassen und dann kann es gleich losgehen. So I'll leave the mat and you can Thank start. You. Have fun with Jonathan from hmm. Bali Yoga. Los geht's. Well, so let's begin. We can begin today actually finding a very comfortable position. So it means we lay on our back. We can have something like butterfly legs recline butterfly where the soles of the feet connect and we can allow the knees to open to the sides. Take a moment to settle in. If that feels too much on your hips, you can just lengthen your legs towards the bottom of your mat if that feels better. But if you want to create a little bit more opening into that area, allow the feet to connect, the knees to be open and wide. And see where you want to place your hands. They can be by the side of your body. They can be also on top of your body if you feel to connect a little bit deeper into your breath. Or they can even be but the size of the shoulders to create space into the area of your chest. Whatever you choose to stay, take a moment there to feel that connection. Maybe allow the eyes to gently close. And see if you can become aware of your own breath. With every inhalation, the air enters through the nostrils, filling your lungs, inflating your belly, expanding the rib cage. And on the exhalation, as the air goes out through the nostrils, We feel the lung emptying, the ribcage shrinking, the belly slowly going down. Take a moment here to really find that rhythm, that awareness of your breath. And long, deep inhales and long, deep exhales. Allowing the body to sink down, to earth itself to the ground, to find a moment of relaxation and of stillness.
And now let's very gently start becoming aware again of our own body. Maybe become aware of your fingers and your hands and start gently moving them. See if you want to bring the awareness as well as to your toes and the toes are moving, maybe they start pressing against each other. If you have your legs like butterfly legs. See if you want to bring a little bit of movement into your wrists, allow them to move. If you have your still your knees open wider, use your hands to allow the knees to close towards the center. Then bring the feet towards the bottom of your mat and take the arms above your head. Take a long, deep stretch. Feel the arms and legs moving away from each other, expanding. If it feels good to move here a little bit to the side, allow the body to find space. And with the next exhalation, start bringing the hands down. Lift the feet off the floor. Bring the knees into your chest and give yourself here a gentle hug. Now allow this here, the lower back, to release some of the tension that maybe we have accumulated if we're sitting the whole day. So allow the knees to move. You can move them together as one, or you can move them separately, individually, if you prefer. Pay attention to how the lower back feels and how the hip and the legs move together. We take three more breaths here. Beautiful. Then slowly release the feet into the floor. Allow the feet to ground and find your knees hip distance. Plant the palms on both sides of your hips, and then we're going to try to create a little bit of space on the front, which means we're going to press from the feet and we're going to lift the hips. But we're going to use the arms as well. So with the next inhalation, press from the feet, lift your hips, take the arms above your head, bring the palms, the hands to touch the floor. On the exhalation, the hips and the hands return to the same point into the ground. Inhale, press in front of your feet, lifting the arms and the hips. They touch the floor at the same time on the exhalation the hands and the hips return into the ground. See if you can flow three more times with your own breath. A long inhalation brings you up and a long exhalation brings you down. Find your rhythm and be aware, aware of that movement. When you're doing your last one, when your hips lift and the back of the hands come and touch the floor, stay there. See if you can find a little bit more strength. Don't allow the knees to open wide. See if you can press a little bit more from the feet. Lift your hips a little bit higher. We stay here for three, two. On the next exhalation, slowly drop the hips, bring the hands down by the side of your hips. Allow the legs here to windscreen wide to the side that feels good into your lower back, releasing some of the tension. Take a deep inhale through the nose, and if you wish, take a deep exhale out of your mouth. Great. Bring the knees into your chest one more time. Give yourself a gentle hug. And now let's find a little bit of activation into our core so then that we create the energy we need for the practice. So bring the feet in line with your hips. If you need to bend into your knees, that's also possible, but try to have your feet really above your hips. Take a moment here to feel how the abdomen starts slowly getting engaged in a gentle way. If you're pressing the feet towards the midline, then activate them. So feel the inner part of your legs becoming a little bit more active. Beautiful. And now to find a bit more activation with the next inhalation, let's lift the head, the shoulders, and the arms forward. So now you feel the front part of the body activating as well. Look in between your legs, and we stay here for three more breaths. One. Two. Exhale, bend the knees, release the knees into the chest, drop the head into the floor and the shoulders. And again, deep inhale through your nose, move into your legs, deep exhale of your mouth. Now release the hands down, lengthen your legs one more time above your hips, and then let's return one more time by lifting the arms and shoulders and head forward. Now one more time, find the gaze in between your legs, and this time we're gonna stay like this, but if we wanna find a bit more activation, allow the arms to oscillate up and down. You will find this bring a little bit more tension and movement into the upper part of the abdomen. Keep pressing your legs against each other if you can, and we stay here for three, two, one, Exhale, release, bend the knees, hug into your chest, deep inhale again through your nose, deep exhale out of your mouth. <sighs> Always allow the tension to move away from you. Let's return one more time, so we extend the legs above the hips. And with the next inhalation, we lift the head, shoulders, and arms forward. Now, we find our over gaze in between the legs, and we take a deep inhalation here, and exhalation means the right leg to hover almost to touch the floor. Inhale to lift the right leg up. Exhale, the left leg comes almost to touch the ground. And then you find your rhythm. With one inhalation, the leg comes up. With exhalation, the leg comes down. See if you can do at least three more times with each leg. 
and try to keep lifting your upper body as well so you feel um, find a bit more activation on the front. Great job, everyone. And when you're doing your last one, we're going to meet one more time again with both legs straight. We try to lift this time the fingers into your feet. You might want to try to reach into them. And we hold it here for five. Keep breathing. Four. Three. Smile to yourself. Two. One. And then release. <sighs> Hug the knees into your chest. Deep inhale through your nose. Deep exhale out of your mouth. If you feel there's still some residue on your belly, maybe bring the feet into the floor and allow the legs to windscreen wide to the sides to release even more of that tension. And again, if you want to still take a more deep exhale out of the mouth, please do. Let the tension go away. Great. Bring the knees into your chest. Hug them here. Give a gentle squeeze and then take the hands right behind your knees. Let's rock a little bit back and forth. So bring the feet above your head. See if you can rock forward on your spine and back a couple of times. Try to keep your feet hovering as you come forward, so don't, don't let them touch the floor. See if you can come one more time up, find your balance on your sitting bones the next time you're coming forward. Maybe you want to lift your feet in alignment with your knees. If you want to keep the hands behind your knees, bring the shoulders back, lengthen your spine. If you want to take the arms forward for your boat pose, Navasana, stay here for three, two, and one, and slowly cross your legs, and see if you can bring the hands forward, and let's find from here a tabletop position, which means we're going to come into hands and knees on the floor. Now we make sure the fingers are wide under your shoulders and the knees are right under your hips, hip distance apart. Take a moment to connect into the ground. And let's begin by finding a little bit of cats and cows. So inhale, drop the belly, open to the chest, lift the chin up. On exhalation, press the floor away, round into your spine. Long inhale, create space forward, open into the front. And with a long exhalation, find that stretch on the back side. Try to keep moving like this with your own breath, inhaling to the front. And exhale, pressing in. Find your rhythm. And if you wish to break the pattern of movement from forward and back, you can start allowing the knees to bend a bit more, the hips to move forward and back. Allow the head to follow as well, that movement. So you find in this way a little bit of flow in your own way. Paying attention that you stretch into your wrist, so maybe eventually it's good always to bring the fingers into face in all the directions of your mat, maybe bring it to the sides, right and left, and then allow your hips to bring stretch and space into that area. Maybe even you want to try to bring the fingers to face into your knees and then find a little bit more stretch into your wrist. And maybe you want to try even also as well to find the other kind of stretch, which means the palms are facing up. And be mindful of how much weight you put there. Maybe just do one hand at a time, you shake it, and then you try the other one as well. Great job, everyone. Now let's return back to the table to the position. The fingers are still wide on the mat, the knees are hip distance. We start finding the long spines, which means we focus on lengthening the lower back towards the table and towards the floor, so the lower back becomes long. We find the space between the ground and the chest. From here, we keep the crown of the head reaching forward. The vision is to the floor. See if you can lengthen the right leg toes around the floor. Inhale, make the right leg active and lift it away from the floor. Find your balance here. Hold it there. Keep gaze into the floor. Keep the arms long and active. And when you feel stable enough, allow the left arm to reach forward. So you find your balance with just the right hand and your left shin and knee on the floor. Take a deep inhalation to lengthen even more on exhalation. Bring elbow, knee and head to the center, rounding in. Inhale to lengthen and expand. Exhale to contract everything to the center. See if you can do it three more times with your own breath. And flowing with one inhale to lengthen, one exhale to come in. The next time you're lengthening, stay there, drop the left hand into the floor. Now lengthen the right leg a bit more towards the back and see if you can bring the right leg towards the left side off your mat as far as you can and then drop the foot into the floor. So we'll come out of side of your mat. Press from the hand, lengthen your spine forward and exhalation, see if you can bring the gaze and look into that left foot so you find a side stretch through the right side of the body. We stay here for three, two, and one. Inhale, lengthen the head forward. Inhale, lift the leg into balance. Drop the toes on the back, the leg is still long. 
Now with an exhalation, lift the left knee into your chest and we round here for three. Hold it there, bring the knee a little bit closer to the chest, two. And one, inhale, we find our plank pose. On exhalation, we find the knees into the floor. Inhale, we open the chest. Exhale, chest and chin between the hands. Inhale, we glide forward, we find cobra. We untuck the hands, we tuck the toes, we lift the hands off the floor. We find the activation of the back for three. Keep breathing. Two. One. Exhale, slowly down. And then we return back into our tabletop position. Take a moment here again. If you need to stretch something, if you need to release the breath through the mouth, please do. Deep inhale, long exhale. See if you need to shake your hands or stretch a little bit your wrist if you feel any tension in that to that part. Beautiful. Now let's find the flow in the other side. So we extend the left leg, toes on the floor first. We keep the space between the ground and the chest and with the next inhalation, we lift the left leg into balance. We hold it there here. Feel the belly bottom pushing into the spine. And when we find so good stability, we allow the right arm to lift on the next inhalation and reach forward. Keep your vision to the floor. Take an inhale here on exhalation, elbow, knee, and head to the center. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to the middle. Inhale, expanding, exhale, contracting, and the last three in your own flow. And the next time you find yourself lengthening, drop just the right hand on the right shoulder. Inhale, lengthen your spine, exhale, take the left foot this time towards the right side of the mat and pass the mat and then drop the foot into the floor. Take a deep inhalation to lengthen your spine, reach the head forward and exhalation, bring your head and try to look into that back foot. Feel the stretch on the left side of your body. We stay here for three, two, and one, inhale, bring the head forward. Inhale, bring the leg into balance. Exhale, drop the left toes on the back of your mat. Now keep the arms active, round into your upper back. Inhale, lift the right into your chest and we hold it here for three. Lift the knee a little bit higher, two. One, inhale, into our plank pose. On exhalation, again, knees down. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, chest and chin between the hands. Inhale, cobra. Bhujangasana, lifting the arms, untucking your toes. We stay here for three, strong legs, two, one, and exhale slowly down, and return back into our tabletop position. And again, one more deep inhale through your nose. One deep exhale of the mouth. Allow the body to move, to stretch, to release tension. Pay attention, where does it want to go? Where do you feel any residue? Allow it to flow through you. And now let's come from here into our first downward facing dog. So think about taking the hand just a tiny bit forward from the shoulders. Tuck the toes on the back. Fingers are wide on your mat. Press from your hands, press from the toes, and slowly inhale, lift the knees. And start gently extending your legs, lifting your hips. And allow the legs to start walking. Maybe you bend one knee on the other one, bringing movement here into your body, into the hips, into the legs, arms and shoulders. The head maybe wants to shake, saying yes and no, if that feels good. Take a moment here to find your flow, to find a little bit of release into the body. Keep the fingers always wide on the mat and make sure your hands are shoulder distance and your feet are hip distance apart. See if you can find the stillness as well on your dog. And if it's the first downward dog of the day, maybe bend your knees slightly to keep more space into your lower back. Now let's wave, let's, let's flow like a wave. So think about with the next inhalation, we round forward. We find the plank pose. On exhalation, we bend the knees, we lift the hips, and we come back into downward facing dog. Inhale again, coming forward into your plank, round your back. Exhale, bend your knees, and come back into your dog. Three more times with your own breath. Inhale, coming forward. And exhale, coming back. Try to feel that movement on your spine that it becomes more liquid as you move forward and back. And when you have done your last one, stay on your dog. Breathe there, maybe deep inhale through the nose. Long exhale out of your mouth. 
Bring the gaze into your hands and then slowly take little steps to the front of your mat, walking yourself forward. And as you reach the front, let the whole body sink down. See if you want to hug your elbows, bend your knees, shake the body up and, up and down or to the sides. Let the head feel heavy so you feel the back side of the neck long, the crown of the head reaching down towards the ground. Let yourself melt here for just three more breaths. Beautiful. If you're hugging your elbows, release the hands into the floor. See if you can bend your knees a little bit more and imagine as we come up, the chin glues to the chest around your back and slowly come up vertebra by vertebra, keeping your head always down and heavy until at the very end, you come all the way nice and straight, right above your feet. If you feel you want to lift your shoulders once you come straight, bring them up and down. If you feel you want to lift arms and take them down, that's also great. If you feel you need to move the hips, the arms or shoulder or shake anything, take a moment here to find your whole body long again. And take a moment here to really connect into your feet, to feel that connection into the ground through your feet. If you want, maybe you take a moment to look into your feet. Maybe they can be together or hip distance. And as you look into your feet, try to lift your toes, spread them wide, and then take the toes down into the floor. So you feel a bit more grounding effect here into the floor. Now, we're going to flow into a standing posture where we're going to find balance. So keeping that activation from the feet, we bring that energy into the legs that become strong and active. Imagine the tailbone points a little bit more down, the navel moves in. We take the hands into the hips. From here, we're going to start by shifting the body weight into the left foot. And then we're going to gently start lifting the right foot, lift first the heels. Lift the sole and then just let the big toe touch. Find a drishti point or gaze of point in front of you and then slowly lift the knee up towards the chest. See how high it wants to come, but try to keep your hips on the same level. That's why you keep the hands on the hips. When you feel comfortable, you can take the hands forward into the chest. Or even if you want to bring them both your head, that's also welcome. Take one more inhalation wherever you are, breathing. On exhalation, lean the upper body forward, start kicking the right leg back as far as you can to come into your high lunge. Let the right toes touch and land into the mat. Lift your torso, keep that bend into that front knee. Now find your torso here, straight above your hips. The arms are active. Keep reaching the arms up. Keep the back heel active and strong. Beautiful. Now we're gonna try to come back to standing. So we do the same flow, we're gonna inhale here on exhalation, we're going to lean forward, bring the weight, push with the back toes, see if you can do a little step and lift one more time the right knee into the chest, find your balance, hold it there, breathe. One more breath. On exhalation, allow the right foot to slowly come down, allow the hands to come down if you have them up, back into standing, Tadasana. Take a deep inhale and a long exhale to release. If you feel you need to shake, especially that standing leg that was holding a lot of tension, move into your leg or into your ankle or even into any other part of your body. Now let's find the other balance with the other legs. So one more time, we start by looking down, we look into the toes, we make them active, we spread them, we connect into the floor. We bring that energy into the legs, we make them strong. One more time, tailbone down, the navel moves in. Hands into your hips. Shift this time the weight into the right foot to the point the left legs are becoming weightless. Lift first the heel, then the sole, and at the end, just let the big thumb touch the floor. Keep that bridge active in front of you, and then inhale, lift the leg into balance. Try to remember to keep your hips in the same level. Beautiful. Once you have found the balance, take the hands forward in front of the heart center, or maybe you want to take them up above your head. We take one more breath here. On exhalation, we lean the upper body forward, we start kicking the left leg back, try to move slowly, extend the leg, let the left toes land and touch the mat. Inhale, lift your torso and come into a high lunge. Beautiful. Take a deep inhale here. Deep exhale. Try to square your hips, make sure the back leg is active and strong. Take a moment to find your breath again. And now we're going to come back into standing. If keeping the arms above your head is too much, just always take them down into your heart center. We're going to inhale to le create length. On exhalation, we lean forward. 
we feel the weight coming to the right foot, we push with the left toes, we do a gentle step forward, we lift the left knee into the chest, find your balance again, breathe. Smile to yourself, one more breath. On exhalation, we slowly drop the foot down and we take the hands again on both sides of the body. One more time, deep inhale, and a long exhale to release. And again, we can let any part of the body move, anything that needs to be shaken can also move as well. Now let's flow one more time into the floor. So we find the feet one more time connecting on the front of the mat. We find the whole body becoming long. We take one deep inhalation, we bring the arms up, we gaze into the sky. Exhale, we hinge from the hips all the way down into the floor. Let's do a couple of spinal waves here. Inhale, lengthen your spine forward, gaze to the front. Exhale, fall down. Hands on the floor on the shins. Inhale, lengthen again forward. Find that space on your spine. Exhale to fall. One more time, inhale to find that length forward, inhaling, exhale to fall. Find the hands connecting to the floor, bring the legs back, let's find a plank pose where the legs are active and strong, the shoulders are above the hands. Try not to let the butt lift, try to tuck the tailbone down, hold it here, hold it here. we stay for three, keep breathing, round your upper back, two, one. On exhalation, knees down. Again, one more time, inhale, open the chest. Exhale, chest and chin between the hands. Inhale, let's glide one more time. Let's find cobra. Lift the hands off the floor. Untuck the toes, strong legs. And we take three more breaths here. We take one more inhalation here. On exhalation, slowly down. And we're gonna slowly transition into downward facing the tuck in the toes. Lifting your hips. And one more time, we can walk the doggy, that feels good. We can move the legs. We can move the hips, the shoulders, the head. We can take a deep exhale of the mouth. <sighs> Beautiful. Now with the next inhalation, we're gonna lift this time the right leg high, three legged dog. Try to keep your legs Active, the hips are square, both arms are lengthening and strong. We take one more inhalation here and exhalation. Let's bring the right knee to the chest, rounding forward, just to round. Inhale one more time, three legged dog, lift the leg high. Exhale into the chest. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale into the chest, rounding, rounding, rounding. And then see if you can take the foot in between the hands or help you with your hands. We come back into our high lunge so we keep the back heel active. We slowly lift the torso. And then we allow the front knee to bend. We sink a little bit more into the hips. Take a moment here to find your balance and your breath as well. Now we're gonna find a bit of twist and we're gonna always gonna twist to the right side on this side of the body. Inhale, we're gonna lengthen the front leg. We reach the arms even higher. On exhalation, we sink and twist. Right arm back, left arm forward. Inhale to lift and extend. Exhale to sink and twist. See if you can do it three more times with your own breath, trying to move super slowly, listening to the body and the breath moving together. Inhale to lift, exhale to sink and twist. See if you can hold your last twist. See how that feels. Can maybe you bring the gaze back towards the back hand. Strong legs. We take one more inhalation here and exhalation, bring the left hand into the floor on the left shoulder, open the right arm up, so you find both arms in the same line, finding our twist here, beautiful. We take one more inhale here, on exhalation, reach the right arm forward and down from the inside of the right foot, walk the right foot to the edge, so you have space for your hips, and let the hips drop down, but try to keep the left leg without touching the floor, we come into an active lizard. Let yourself sink a bit more, and breathe. See where the stretch is taking place. See where the breath is at the moment. Beautiful. Now fingers are active. Round your back, lift your hips. Press the floor, round even more. See if you can take the right foot and then take it all the way back into your plank pose. Take an inhale on your plank pose. and exhalation, vinyasa, we can do knees chest in. Maybe this time you wanna do chaturanga. Inhale for a cobra again or upward facing dog. On exhalation, maybe you wanna move back into our downward facing dog. 
Once you have reached your dog again, deep inhale through your nose. Deep exhale through release, tension through the mouth. And one more time, let the body move. Eat that feels good. Let yourself find space. Now ground through your legs, extend your arms, bring the navel in, fingers active. This time with the next inhalation, we shift the weight to the right foot. Inhale, we lift the left leg high, three-legged dog. Strong arms and strong legs. Try to keep your hips on the same level. Take one more inhale here. On exhalation, left knee to the chest, rounding forward for three times in total. Inhale, three like a dog. Exhale, into the chest. Inhale, three like a dog. Exhale, into the chest. Last time, inhale, three like a dog. Exhale, into the chest, round forward as much as you can. Then drop the foot in between the hands. One more time, high lunge. Both hips are square. Both feet are facing forward. We lift slowly the hips, the arms, the torso, and then we sink a little bit more down to find more space. Find again your drift in front of you, that focal point for stability. Find your breath again. Same as with the other side, we're going to twist five times to the left side. So with the next inhalation, we lengthen the left leg. On exhalation, we sink and twist right arm forward, left arm back. Four more times with your own breath. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, sink in and twist. Great job, everyone. Try to move in synchronicity with your breath. So one inhale lifts you, and one exhale brings you down. And when you're doing your last one, we're going to stay all together on the last twist. See if you can find more activation. Maybe the gaze can follow towards the back hand this time. We take one more inhale here. On exhalation, right hand comes down into the floor on the right shoulder. Left arm reaches up. Find yourself twisting here first. Both legs remain still active. We take one more inhale here on the exhalation. Left arm reaches forward and then down into the mat. Let the left foot walk a little bit to the side to give space to your hips. Let your back leg come a little bit closer without touching the floor. Let your hips sink down. Keep the arms long. Find your active lizard. Smile here. And observe how this side feels compared to the other one. Deep inhale. And again, long exhale. We stay here two more breaths. Now keep the arms active, fingers are connecting the ground. Press the right toes, lift the right hip, round your upper back. Press the hands, lift the foot, and take it all the way back into your plank pose. And again, the option to go for a vinyasa or come straight into downward facing dog. On the exhalation, we lower down. On the inhale, we open forward. On the exhalations, we come back into downward facing dog. And again, one more time, move your legs, move your body, release the energy through your mouth. <sighs> Let yourself feel grounded to the hands and feet. Let the movement bring a little bit of ease and comfort on the postures. Find your dog and see if you can find again the stillness of the posture for five more breaths. Great job, everyone. This time, instead of coming to the front, we're going to walk the hands to the feet. So we start taking little steps with your hands. Walking yourself back. If you need to start coming into the fingertips as you come back or bend your knees, please do. When you reach the back of the mat, make sure you have space in between your feet. Let yourself hang down again for a moment. Maybe you want to hug your elbows. Maybe some of you want to use the hands behind your legs to pull yourself down or even the hands under your feet. Maybe some of you even want to interlace your hands behind the back and find a bit more space and stretch a bit more your shoulders. Whatever you choose, let the head feel heavy, reaching towards the floor. And remember, you can always bend your knees as much as you need to. We stay here for three more breaths. If you have the hands behind the back, under your feet, or behind your legs, release the hands one more time to the floor gently. 
Take a deep inhalation, lengthen your spine, hands on the floor and the shins, gaze forward. Gaze where your hands normally come on down dog and then walk yourself back into that position. Like if the hands were your feet, you walk yourself to the front. And then you lengthen your arms and legs and find again that beautiful long spine. Great. Now as you keep the fingers active, this time we're going to shift the weight into the right foot first and with the next inhalation we're going to lift the left leg high first. Three legged dog. Reach the leg even higher. Bend the knee and see if you want to bring that foot behind the back to create a bit of space into your hips. Keep lengthening both arms strongly. Inhale, lengthen the leg, lift it high on exhalation, knee to the chest, rounding forward as much as you can, then take the foot in between the hands. Drop the right knee to the floor, untuck the back toes, and we're going to come into a low lunge, which means we take the hands onto that front thigh, we let the body sink down here, allowing the hips to move forward and down towards the floor. Take a moment to settle down and feel the stretch on your right thigh. Now, I welcome you to come into a gentle back bend so we can maybe bring the hands into our heart center. If you wish to stay here with the hands on the thigh, please stay in that position. Now, with the next inhalation, you might you lengthen towards the crown of the head, so lengthen to your spine. On exhalation, lean gently back, open the chest towards the sky, maybe bring the gaze up. Keep breathing here. Lengthening with every inhale and exhalation, we find a tiny bit of space. Try not to compress your lower back, so keep lifting on the inhalation. So Great job, everyone. Take a deep inhale, come forward. On exhalation, release the hands, this time under the floor, open the feet to the side, and now we come into our resting lizard. So now, one more time, the hips are squaring forward, we take a deep inhalation. If we have the possibility on exhalation, maybe this time maybe we start bending maybe with elbows, maybe we find a prop or a block or a book to place them on it. We allow the body to find a bit more space. If we need to stay with the arms extended, that's totally fine. So find the level that feels comfortable for your body that allows you to keep that connection to the body without pain, finding the awareness of your breath. Let the hips sink down, let gravity do the work for you. We stay here the last three breaths. Beautiful. And then we're going to slowly start coming back into the arms one more time. We lengthen both of them. We press the fingers that are always wide on the floor. Now, this time we're going to tuck the back toes one more time. We're going to lift the right leg, lifting the right knee. Lift your hips, square them if you can. With the next inhalation, lift the left arm up. See if you can bring yourself again to your lizard twist, bringing the gaze to the top hand. Beautiful. Take one more inhalation. Here in the exhalation, bring the gaze down, looking towards the left foot, and then slowly start walking that foot back. Maybe stops on the middle of the mat for a supported plank. Maybe comes on top of the other one for a vashistasana, or maybe you find a flying vashistasana if the leg is up. So take your variation of the side plank for three. Keep breathing. Two. One. On exhalation, hand and foot to the floor. See if you want to find one more vinyasa or come straight into your downward facing dog. Try to move with your own breath. Always open on the inhalations and coming back on the exhalation. One more time, deep inhale through the nose. Long release out of your mouth. And if it feels good on your dog to move your legs, to move your hips or shake into your head, please do. Great. Now let's find the flow with the other side, which means with the next inhalation, we're going to lift the right leg high, three-legged dog. Lift the leg even higher, bend the knee, open to your hips. Bring the foot behind your back. Keep lengthening with the arms, so don't collapse on the left arm completely. Try to keep pressing your right hand on the floor. Take one inhale, lengthen the leg high. On exhalation, knee to the chest, round forward, forward, forward. Then take the foot in between the hands. This time we drop the left knee into the floor and we untuck the back toes. Take the hands again slowly into the front thigh. And remember, if you ever have pain on your knees, you can always fold your mat double on and make a cushion into the leg. Take a moment to allow the hips to sink forward to feel that opening. 
Great. Find again the breathe, rhythm of your breath. And I would like to invite you to come into a gentle back bend. If you want to stay with the hands on your thigh, please do. If you want to follow into the back bend, bring the hands together into the heart center. With the next inhalation, lengthen towards the spine, lift yourself up on exhalation, lean back, open the chest, maybe bring the gaze slightly up. Keep breathing here, lengthening up on the inhalations, finding space to come back on the exhalations. With the next inhalation, we come forward. On exhalation, we release the hands from the inside of the right foot. We walk this time the right foot to the edge of your mat. Coming to our resting lizard. So one more time, we take a deep inhale. On exhalation, we see how the side feels. Maybe we want to come down again to the prop. Maybe we want to find the elbows on the floor. Maybe we need to stay with the arms extended. That's totally fine. Take a moment to find the side and the opening of the hip. Let the body sink down here. Let gravity do the work for you as well. We stay here three more breaths. Great job, everyone. With the next inhalation, we're going to slowly come back again into the hands. We press them on the floor. We extend the arms fully. We're going to tuck the back toes. We're going to slowly, with the next inhalation, lift the back leg, lift your hips, round your back again. We, this time we keep the left hand on the floor, inhale the right arm reaches up and then we find our twisting motion, twisting lizard to the sky. Back foot and front hand really active and strong on the floor. Take one more inhalation here and exhalation, bring just the gaze down. Look into the right foot and allow the right foot to start walking back to finding your supported plank. Maybe again foot on top of foot or flying Vashistasana. Find your variation of the posture that feels good for this side. We stay here for three, two, one. On exhalation, hand and foot to the floor. And again, maybe one more vinyasa of your choice, or you can come straight into downward facing dog. Inhale, opening into upward facing dog, and returning back into downward facing dog on the exhalations. One more time, deep inhale through the nose. Long exhale out your mouth. Let the body move again if that feels good. Deep inhale. Long exhale. We take three more breaths deeply here to settle down here. To feel that connection to the ground through the hands and feet. With the next inhalation, we're going to lift the right leg high, three legged dog. On exhalation, knee to the chest, running forward, take the right foot in between the hands. Now, turn the back heel on the floor completely. Walk the hands to the side of your mat and turn the right foot in so both feet become parallel. So now, your hands will be on the floor. If you need to bend your knees slightly to touch the floor, please do. Take a deep inhalation to find length. Look forward. On exhalation, let the body sink down and maybe walk the hands a bit more back towards the floor. Finding your prasarita, padatanasana, yo. Open legged forward fold. Let the body sink down and try to focus that the hips and the feet become in the same line. So normally we have to shift the hips slightly forward to find that connection. Let your head feel heavy. If you have your hands on the line of your feet, take them slightly forward, take a deep inhalation, lengthen, look to the front. Exhale, take the hands into your hips. With an exhalation, we're gonna come all the way up. Lifting, exhale here. Now this time, we're gonna try to bring the heels in and turn the toes out. So bring the heels in and turn out, and then we bend the knees, we sink into goddess. So normally we should have the knees right above the ankles, so sometimes we need to shorten a little bit of the stand if that's necessary. See if you can take the hands into each thigh. Take a deep inhalation in the center and exhalation. Let's bring the right shoulder to the center to twist. Inhale into the middle. And exhale, try to go on to the other side. And now you can be dynamic and keep moving with one breath, or you can also stay on one side and breathe there a couple of breaths if that feels better. Remember, yoga is always your own practice, so listen to your body. Listen where it needs to go. How long does it need to stay? 
And if you're flowing, see if you can do at least two more times to each side. And then we're going to return back into the center. Let's bring the hands into the hips. See, it a little bit deeper, if you can, to find a bit more opening. Focus on the sensations. If it becomes too much, try to breathe more deep. Focus on the sensations. Great job, everyone. With an exhalation, we're going to lengthen the legs fully. We're going to turn the left foot in, the right foot to the front of the mat. On exhalation, we're going to sink the hands into the floor. As we square the hips, we lift the back heel. And one more time, see if we want to flow through one vinyasa, and we can meet together into downward facing dog. If you wish to skip the vinyasa, then come straight into Adha Mukha Svanasana, and we will meet there into that place. Let the body stay there for a moment. Now with the next inhalation, this time we're going to lift the left leg high, three-legged dog. On exhalation, knee to the chest, running forward. Take the left foot in between the hands. Plant the right heel on the floor and then slowly walk to the other side of the mat. So now both feet become parallel again. One more time. The hands are under your shoulders. Take space to lengthen. On exhalation, let the body sink down. One more time. The hands can walk in between the foot. If you want to try a different variation, maybe the hands come into your legs, into the shins, into the ankles, or either the peace fingers into the big thumbs. And then let yourself pull a little bit more down towards the floor. Keep your legs active. And again, find that line between your hips and your heels. We stay here for three more breaths. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, release the grip. Take the hands forward under your shoulders. Lengthen the spine, gaze to the front. Exhale, hands into your hips. Press your feet strongly. And then slowly come all the way up. One more time, we, we turn to goddess, so we take the, turn the heels in and the toes out, and we sink into the knees. This time, the knees come one more time above the ankles. Take a moment to find the shape. See if you want to take this time the hands into your heart center. Now, let's flow a little bit. Inhale, reach the arms high, lengthen your legs. Exhale, sink down, bring the hands into your heart center. One more time. Inhale to open and lift. Exhale, down. If it feels better to do with your eyes closed, you're welcome to close your eyes and then find a rhythm for the next three rounds. Lengthening coming up, exhale, sinking down. When we're doing the last one, we're going to slowly sink one more time into that goddess. Now, if your eyes are closed, I welcome you to open them. Now, let's see if you can lift one heel. Doesn't matter if you lift the right or the left. See how that feels. Then bring it down. See if you want to try with the left one. And then down. Now, can we find the concentration of the mind to bring that information and try to lift both heels at the same time? And we find balance for a three. Great job. Two. Smiling. One. And then slowly dropping the heels down. And then we're going to go one more time to the front of the mat. So we turn the feet to face the floor. We drop the hands into the floor. And we can flow maybe for our last vinyasa. Inhale into plank. Exhale, Chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale for Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. On exhalation, into Downward Facing Dog. One more time, let the legs move. Let the breath release tension through the mouth. Deep exhale here. Make sure the fingers are wide on the mat. The head is soft and relaxed in between the arms. Find the length on your spine as you press the hands and the feet into the floor. We're going to stay here for the last five. Four. Last down dog of the practice. Three. Two. One. Now, if you want to come into resting position, come into your child's pose. If you want to do a little bit more, shift the body weight forward, come into your plank pose. Strong arms and strong legs. Tuck the tailbone down, bring the navel in. And we're going to stay here as well for five. Keep breathing. Four. Three. Two. 
three, two, one. And again, exhalation. If you want, you can come to child's pose. If you want to do a little bit more, we bend the knees into the floor for five. We keep bringing them closer. Four, even slower. Three, two, one. Now drop them into the floor. If you want to do a little bit more, we hover them for extra five. So strong. Five, keep breathing. Four, three, smile if you can. Two, this is hard, intense. One, and then we drop them down and we come into a very deserved child's pose. Let yourself fall and melt into the floor. Your knees can be open or closed, arms can be forward or back towards your feet. Take a deep exhale out of your mouth. Let the tension again go away. If you want to wiggle the body and move it a little bit sideways, maybe that's something that feels good in this moment. Let yourself take as many exhalations as you want through your mouth. Let the breath find again its rhythm. Let the heart find the harmony. We stay here five more breaths. And now very slowly, if you have your hands towards your feet, see if you can take them to the front of your mat. See if you can walk the hands a bit more to the point the hands come on the fingertips, the palms lift away from the floor. See if you can lift the head off the floor, look into your palms and to the fingers. And then walk with your hands maybe first to left side or right side, it doesn't really matter which side you choose to go. Walk with the arms, let the torso rest on top of that leg and then maybe allow the forehead maybe to come and reconnect down towards the floor. Finding this way a gentle and nice lateral flexion. And then one more time, activate your hands, come back into the fingertips, look into your hands, and then slowly walk to the center. Once you find the center, reach a bit more to the front to create space, and then walk now to the other side. Doing little steps, allow the torso now to rest into the outer thigh, let yourself melt slowly down. Find a stretch on the other side of your torso. One last breath here. Come back into the fingertips, look into your hands. Walk to the center now because we have open both sides. See if you can walk the fingers even a bit more to the front to find more length. Maybe plant your palms on the floor. Let the forehead again come to the floor. We take here the last three breaths on child's pose. And then very slowly walk with your hands back. Start slowly lifting your torso, sitting on your heels. If you feel you need to close your knees slightly to feel a bit more comfortable, please do. Try to find a sit just nice and straight, just for one deep breath, lengthening on the inhalation. On exhalation again, releasing everything. Use your hands to help you release your hips to one side and we can free the legs to the front. So now we're going to come into a couple of final stretches before we, we come into our Shavasana. So see if you can bring the left leg in, press it against the right inner thigh. Beautiful. Take a deep inhale, lengthen your arms, reach them up. On exhalation, let's twist first to the left side, so right hand towards the left knee, left hand behind the back. Before you twist, inhale, lengthen, grow tall. On exhalation, use the hands for support and bring your gaze back. Try to keep your back shoulder down away from the ear. Keep that front leg active and strong if you can. 
One, inhale to lengthen, exhale to go a little bit deeper into your twist. Take one more inhale here, and exhalation, less than twist, let's come to the center. Inhale, reach the arms high one more time. Look into the front leg, make it active, and exhalation, lean forward, let's find Janoshirsasana, a forward fold. Let the hands drop to touch the floor, to hold into your leg or to your foot, whatever feels comfortable. Take a deep inhalation to create space, and exhalation, let the body melt down towards the ground. We take here three more breaths. Try to be gentle. Try not to pull strongly from your hands. Try to let more the spine and the hip to find the flexion. And with the next inhalation, we slowly walk with the hands back. We use the hand on the knee and we lift it slowly to the center and then we extend it all the way to the front. Now, find the sitting bones connecting to the ground. And now let's move into the other side. So we bring the right knee in. We open the knee to the side and then the right sole of the foot connects into the left inner thigh. Front leg is active, toes are pointing up. Inhale, we reach the arms up. Exhale, we twist now to the right side, right hand behind, left hand to the opposite knee. Inhale to lengthen and grow tall. Front leg is active and exhalation, we bring the gaze back. Back, shoulder moves down towards the floor. Notice how this side feels. We take one more inhale here. Exhale, we slowly untwist, come into the center, inhale, reach the arms high, look into the front leg, make it active and strong, and exhalation, we lean forward, Janashirsasana, sinking from the hips and the spine to the front, let the hands drop to catch or touch something. An extra inhale is always good to find more space, bring the contents of your organs in as you press the belly in, and we find more space to pull down. We take our last three breaths here. And then very slowly, we're gonna walk the hands back, lifting your torso. Use the hand on the right knee to lift it up and then take the leg all the way forward. Now bring the legs a bit more to the front to make sure your head is inside of your mat. Both legs are extended, the heels are on the floor. Take a deep inhalation to reach the arms forward and exhalation, crawl the table down, round your back and come all the way into the floor. Let yourself melt into your back, let the hands drop. If you feel you need to hug the knees one more time before Shavasana, bring the knees in. Make a tiny little ball, maybe bring the forehead into your knees. Try to contract everything for three, pressing everything to the center, like a tiny ball of fire, two, one, and then melt and release everything to the floor. Let the arms come away from the center line, palms facing up. Let your legs drop fully and completely on your mat. Take a deep inhalation through the nose, deep exit of your mouth. Let your eyes close down. Let your breath find again its natural rhythm, soft and gentle and almost soundless. Let yourself sink down here deeply into that final place of relaxation, of peace, and quietness, Shavasana. And now if you wish to stay longer in Shavasana, please stay here. If you want to gently wake up with me, take a deep inhale through the nose. And again, a long release out of your mouth. 
Start bringing that awareness again into your body and start moving your toes and fingers. Allowing the ankles and wrists to move. Allow the head to turn to the sides. See if you want to bring the arms above your head to lengthen your whole body. Finding stretch of your body a little bit to the side if that feels good. And then release everything down. As you give your eyes closed, see if you can bend the knees. Bring the feet into the floor and then allow your whole body to turn to one side, either right or left. Pause there for a couple of breaths. And then very gently with your eyes closed, see if you can start finding the floor with your hands and start slowly pressing yourself up. Take your time to come up and find a comfortable seated position. Let the arm find a comfortable, let the legs find a comfortable seat. Let the shoulders relax away from the ears. Find your chin parallel to the ground, the crown of the head reaching up. Find this last place of stillness. And to finish this practice, I would like that we bring together the palms in front of the heart center. The thumbs connect into the center of the heart to find that connection to that vibration. See if you can listen to your own heartbeats here. And I will add that we finish by taking two long releasing breaths out of the mouth and then we sing one om together. So take a deep inhale through the nose. Long exhale out of your mouth. One more time, inhaling deeply. And exhale, letting go. One more inhale for om. Oh. the next exhalation let the head drop down towards your hands let your mind bow to your heart center take a moment of gratitude here towards yourself for your efforts for your energy for being here smile to yourself namaste thank you very much and I wish you a beautiful evening. <laughs> Jonathan, thank you so much. My pleasure. That was really, really nice. I enjoyed it a lot. Hopefully you mm. as well. <laughs> yes. It was this special moment between agonizing and enjoying. <laughs> 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 Probably went through that as well. Uh, I should say hello from Jose and Bea. They oh, wrote yes. in, the, mm -hmm. in the chat. And they asked if you didn't sweat at all. And this I did sweat like a little bit. A little bit? Yes, okay. you can see <laughs> a little bit marks. <laughs> Thank God, because I but I guess when you're teaching, you're so concentrated in that some part of the body kind of like shut down. Okay, so yeah. I always <laughs> wonder how your teachers are like calm and smiling all the time. <laughs> yeah, with a calm voice, actually, because mm -hmm. I'm breathing as hell. <laughs> <laughs> so nice. Ich hoffe, euch hat's genauso gefallen. Uh, Jonathan hat euch mm. hoffentlich ein ganz bisschen Frieden in euch selbst finden lassen mm. und uh, damit könnt ihr jetzt wunderbar in den Abend reingleiten. Äh, wenn ihr möchtet, dann sagt gerne noch allen Bescheid, dass es uns gibt. Äh, nach Möglichkeit wollen wir natürlich möglichst viele Menschen erreichen, also MyClubs auf YouTube und aber natürlich auch die Klassen von Bali Yoga. Yeah. They are live. So mm -hmm. they're like going to be, oh, come on, German English. Uh, live classes <lacht> online. Äh, wenn ihr möchtet, gibt es also die Live Klassen von Bali, Bali Yoga online in der MyClubs App oder auf myclubs.com. Okay. Yeah. Would you like to say something? No, I just want to thank you, everyone who was a uh, doing this class with us. It was my pleasure and I wish hope to see you again and have a beautiful day. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Yeah. Dankeschön. Dankeschön. Und äh, wenn ihr möchtet, dann schaltet morgen wieder ein, 18 mm. Uhr. Da gibt es äh, einen Inside Flow von Fancy Pants Yoga mit Victoria und der Carina. Mm. Freue ich mich drauf. Habt einen schönen Abend. Bis morgen. Ciao. Bye.